So, we have a good Christmas miracle story, at least perhaps the beginnings of a Christmas miracle. And this story hits close to home because on July 18th of this year, I actually fell from an even higher distance than this guy, and it should have killed me. It damn well should have killed me, and somehow it didn't. But I'll share a little bit of that story and show you some pictures as well. Wife, three sons, hopeful as veteran, starts to emerge from 10-week coma. Christmas miracle. Yes, indeed. Let's hope so. A Missouri veteran and father of three has started to emerge from a 10-week coma, giving his family the best Christmas gift they could ever imagine. Yes, indeed. The doctors told me he probably wasn't going to make it to the weekend, Kylie Belt told KETV in Nebraska. Her husband, Tony Belt, went into the coma after a workplace accident when he fell 18 feet from a scissor lift and suffered a traumatic brain injury at the steel company where he works. Uh, July 18th, I also fell. I fell two stories, which is 20 feet. Uh, kind of started off as a normal day. I'm going to switch to uh, this here because I want to show you some, some pictures from that day, just for context. So, here's how the day started. I had some mating road runners that were running around, and they were just kind of chilling. Um... Here's a close-up of one of them. Let me turn my screen down, resolution down a little bit, and maybe it'll show up a little bit better here. There we go. Yes. So, normal day. But, one thing about that day, I don't know if you can see that. That is my multimeter. It was 105 degrees on that roof that day. My time of the accident was actually 118 degrees. There I was, minutes before the accident, nice and happy, 25 feet in the air, having a good time. And then I fell. That's me on the way to the hospital. Yeah, I was in a lot of pain. Oh, it hurt. They quickly wrapped my feet, not a uh, regular cast because they couldn't. My feet were too swollen, so they had to wrap it in a loose cast. Very, 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 very painful. Here's the bruising. It's both feet. What ended up happening is I broke both calcaneal bones in my heel. Those are the big round bones in the tip of your heel. So I had bilateral calcaneal reconstruction surgery. I'd completely shattered both feet. That's one foot. That's the other foot. Completely shattered. So I had bilateral calcaneal reconstruction surgery. Boy, did it did it hurt. It wasn't didn't feel good. That's a couple well about almost a month after the surgery. Uh, definitely a lot better today, but I remember, remember seeing the ground, but my mind blocked out a few seconds before impact and an unspecified amount of time after impact because all I remember was seeing the ground and the next thing I know I'm waking up crawling towards my phone and I felt like my whole body was on fire. I definitely did hit my head, it was a gravel uh, ground. I definitely did hit my head because uh, I had a bunch of scars and whatnot on my head. But somehow I survived. And all that happened was I shattered both my feet. So, let's go back to the story. God, I hope this is a Christmas miracle. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be beautiful? This isn't Belt's first fight. He was in the army for eight years, and while deployed to the Middle East, he was separately injured in a tank explosion, and was later shot in the head for which he received a Purple Heart. The injury ended his military career, KETV reported. Kylie told the TV station, although the doctor said Tony wouldn't wake up last week, he started moving his left side, opening his eyes. Yeah, uh, I had an injury previous to this. 
I've got a dent in my forehead. But I had a head injury before this in which I wasn't supposed to walk. The doctors had said I'd reach my plateau and I wouldn't walk. I was in a wheelchair and uh, yeah, I proved them wrong. And I'm proving them wrong on this so far as well too. I'm definitely well far ahead of where they said I would be. But then again, I have a habit of pushing myself harder than most people, I guess. There are three sons who are four years old, three years old, and seven months old. Oh, man, that wouldn't that be wonderful for them to get their dad back on Christmas? Oh, I hope he... I, oh, that would be so amazing. Have been by their father's side. They talk to him and play with him. The baby lays in bed with him, kindly said. And that's beautiful. My, uh, my father's... <clears throat> slipping at the moment. And that bond that you can have between a son and their father is something something special. It, it, it really is. And that's beautiful. God, I hope they get their father back for Christmas. Wouldn't that be amazing? She stressed that it has been a confusing time for them. Yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet. Absolutely. They went from being told that Daddy was going to heaven and they will never see him again to him being here and interacting with them, he ex she explained. I just want to change their moods and let them be kids again. Yeah. Oh, yes, please let them be kids again. Their four-year-old son determined his father would wake up by Christmas Eve, she said. Maybe he was right. Maybe he will be the Christmas miracle. That's, that, that's what he's been telling me. Maybe he will be the Christmas miracle that what he's been telling me, Kylie said, as Tony gave a thumbs up, the station reported. The boys have been receiving Christmas cards from friends and well-wishers at the hospital, and they are hoping to receive at least a thousand. They want to get a thousand cards, eh? Huh. Well, I think that's doable. They want a thousand Christmas cards, eh? I think that is doable. I'm going to see if I can find a way to send them a card and find what hospital it's at and see if we can send a card. And if I find the address, then I'll put the address in the link. Uh, I'll put the address in the description below. And it would be really cool if you could send a nice, a nice Christmas card to these people. A nice Christmas card. I'll probably send 10 or 20. I want to help them get to that thousand. That would be cool. That would be very cool. And especially if he comes out of the coma. Wouldn't that be amazing? So I'm going to look this up and see if I can find the address. And if I can, then I'm going to get it for you. And I'll put it in the description below. And it would mean a lot. It would mean a lot if you would send one from... The Cyclops family. Just address it from the Cyclops family. Maybe not. The hospital might not let it go through because that sounds kind of weird. But in some way, say, hey, you know, the Cyclops family says hello and wishes you the best. And that it is a miracle. And that we hope that their lives are fulfilled. That would be amazing. That would be a beautiful way to start a good Christmas Eve, wouldn't it? So look in the description below. I'll look for the address. I'm glad to be alive. I really am. I'm glad to be able to care for my father as he cared for me. I hope this family experiences that same kind of love for many, 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 many beautiful years. Look in the description below for the address because I'm going to try my best to find it. I'll see you guys in the next one.